creating a company is almost like having a child. So it's sort of like, how do you say your child should not have food? Well, I mean, Tesla really faced a severe uh, th threat of death uh, due to the Model 3 production ramp. Essentially, the, the company was bleeding money like crazy, and, and just if, if we didn't solve these problems in a very short period of time, uh, we would die. Uh, and it was extremely difficult to solve them. How close to death did you come? We were within single-digit weeks. 22 hours a day? Or like what, how many yeah, hours? Working, yeah, so seven days a week, sleeping in the factory. Uh, I worked away from the, I worked in the, I worked in the paint shop, general assembly, body shop. You ever worry about yourself imploding? Like it's just yeah, too yeah. much? Yeah, absolutely. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. And you had that third failure in a row. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. Tesla's market capitalization is approx $1 trillion. It is so valuable that if you compare Tesla with other world's most valuable car companies like Ford, Honda, Volkswagen, and Toyota, the combined valuation of these 10 companies would be equal to Tesla's. The overall market share of Tesla is only 1.2%, a tiny portion of market share of the valuation of $1 trillion. Indigestible right. First, let's look at Tesla's profit margin in selling one car. To have a fair estimate, we can look at the automotive gross margin. It is the overall sales minus the manufacturing cost. For Tesla, this is at 30.5%. It is believed to be a very high profit margin. And if you compare it to the other car companies, it is highest ever recorded margin in this sector. Even Mercedes and Rolls-Royce don't get such a high profit margin. For most car companies, it is in the 15% to 20% range. In fact, this margin of more than 30% is only for the high-end extreme luxury brands like Porsche or Ferrari. Now selling cars is the main source of revenue for Tesla. Most of the revenue earned by Tesla is from the car sales, but it is not the only source of revenue. So what other sources of revenue does Tesla have? Tesla's sources of revenue can be divided into three main categories. First is the automotive. That includes the car sales. The second one is servicing and part replacing. Servicing the cars is also a source of revenue for the company. And the third main source is the energy business of Tesla. You might already know that Tesla doesn't sell cars only. It sells solar roof and power wall as well. The concept of the solar roof is quite simple. If you've had to install solar panels in your home, you can get them from Tesla. And if you have solar panels in your home, but if there isn't much sunshine, where would you get electricity from? You need a place to store energy. Tesla's power wall is an energy storing device. And this wall looks something like this. Additionally, I guess you may have also heard about it. Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla had started its pre-registration, so it will also be a part of revenue in future. Now combining all the revenue of Tesla, in 2021 it was around $54 billion, a 70% increase from last year. Interestingly, the money earned by Tesla is less than the money spent by Tesla. You'd wonder how this could be possible. Tesla has a nice profit margin. The cost to manufacture one car allows it to get profit on sale at a 30% profit margin. So where on earth all the money is going? Tesla is spending billions of dollars on researching and developing good technology. For this exact reason, Tesla had been a loss-making company for many years, up till 2019. But 2020 was the first year when Tesla made a net profit. And do you know what's more interesting? While the other car manufacturing companies spent a lot of money on advertising. On marketing and promoting the cars wherein Tesla's advertising spending is zero, but R&D expenses is almost thrice than that of the other car companies. You'd wonder how this could be possible? How could a company sell its products without using ads? The simple answer is Elon Musk's popularity. Elon Musk is such a popular personality with only one tweet, he can impact the price of Dogecoin. 
So if you can imagine, such a popular person doesn't need to spend on advertising for the promotion of his company. There's so much hype built up for Tesla that it gets automatic media coverage from all the companies. There are so many new exciting features in their car that present so many new and unique things that people get curious about it and write on social media, discuss them. The media companies publish articles about it, news channels talk about it on TV. In marketing, this is known as word of mouth marketing. If you know simple economics, the larger the scale of production of something, it reduces the cost per unit of it. In electric cars, over several years, there was a problem that the cost of batteries was very high. So Tesla introduced the concept of gigafactories, wherein they set up gigafactories for manufacturing the batteries for their cars in order to reduce their cost. Presently, there are six gigafactories worldwide. Four of them are functional and two under construction. Apart from these, perhaps the most special thing about Tesla is the technologies that they use in their cars. The type of self-driving technology they've used has never been seen before in a car. In the last five years, Tesla's share price has increased to 900 times. So many people investing in Tesla stock is the reason why Tesla has become the most valuable car company in the world. But there is another aspect of it. Many people believe that Tesla's stock is currently overvalued. They think that it doesn't have any reason to be so valuable if the data and statistics are looked into realistically. What are the reasons why some people believe Tesla to be overvalued? Let's look at them. First, other car companies have entered the electric vehicle market too. And the market share of Tesla is starting to fall. And in 2020, Tesla's market share was 79%. But in the first six months of 2021, this market share fell to 66%. The other car company's market share has started increasing. Audi's market share has increased to 3.3%, Ford's to 5.2%, and almost all of the companies have introduced models of their electric cars, and in many cases, they are much cheaper than Tesla's model. The other revenue source of Tesla is regulatory credits. What are regulatory credits? In America, there is a point or credit system. The companies that do not cause pollution or those that meet the maximum pollution emission standards, the U.S. government would give them credits or points. These are known as regulatory credits. Now, non-EV companies have two options. They can either manufacture such vehicles that doesn't cause pollution, or if they are producing vehicles causing pollution, those companies need to purchase regulatory credits from either the government or other companies. And Tesla has earned many such regulatory credits because they manufacture electric vehicles that do not cause any pollution. So the other car companies have to buy these regulatory credits from Tesla. They pay Tesla in exchange to these credits, and thus is a major revenue source for Tesla. According to the 2020 annual report, almost $500 million of Tesla's revenue were from the sale of regulatory credits. In fact, if Tesla had no revenue from the sale of regulatory credits in 2020, Tesla wouldn't have been a profitable company. It would have been in a net loss that year. That's all for this video, guys. Hope you learned something valuable.